Hey, I'm Kev Kim. Let's go we'll back to Automobis the 2 for another race round of Hockenheim Ring. As last time out, we in the form of the V10s. Round the 2001 they out of Hockenheim. But this time, we're up to the modern day. We've got the 17 turn 2.84 mile long circuit. And with DTM going through some dire straits, unfortunately, with Mercedes and now Audi. Leaving with only BMW around with a bit of an uncertain future. Before we get some touring cars around there. In the form of the stock cars. Not the 2019 version, but the modern 2020 version. All new stock cars. So to link up to our previous online video, we are gonna be the one and only Rubens back. Hello. In his Toyota Corolla. As in see, we've also got or the Chevrolets as well. Let's be Rubinho. And let's have some fun in another 10 lap race. As we've got more variable redder, hopefully. We've had some more, more random weather slots here. As we've still got 19 opponents, so hopefully we'll be starting in the back. As oh no, we're starting 90. Out of 20 cars, it's 10 that race against 95% level opponents, 50 cent aggression. So let's just be steady on this open app, shall we? Oh, everyone's a bit slow in front. Made up one one position. Why don't you just push the bars? It's only working. What the eyes about? Do you do? I don't think we do, do we? I say he's just pushed the pass in these cars, like an Indy car. So up to 18 for making moves. For the bad, let's try and repeat what Barakoli did in, was it F1, was it in 2000, his first victory from 18 to victory. So that's a nice move in front of the Mercedes Benz grandstand. It's into the top 15, so. They're quite like the previous stock cars, like from 2019, before. They're kind of like the ETM cars. Lots of power, lots of pace, and a touring car shell. And these 2020 cars, they're a bit more streamlined, like this Aero. Trying to make the cars look a bit more like their road going counterparts. Oh, hello. Oh my god, it's raining! No! No, I didn't want the rain to be coming. What have I done? Well, this is going to be a test. Sit tires on a wet track. Are we even going to survive the race? And so yeah, you definitely feel the difference between these cars and the previous stock car Brazil touring cars. Sorry, sorry. It's just it's raining. I can't. I can't hit the brakes properly. So we're breaking into the. Fast right hand up. A bit wide. Oh my god. Look at the water around it now. It is slow. For everyone, look at it. Man, I wish we had this in automobilista. Change of conditions. 
See, we, we are doing the bad cut though. We're going to slip around on our slick tyres in the work. Pick our way up the order here. That's all they're pitting. We make the move to stick and stay out. Oh, we've got a fairly accelerated straight line. But I made the wrong choice here. But yeah, you can definitely feel from these cars. I compared it around into Lagos, these cars. Compared to, oh my god, pre 2019 version and beyond. Just gotta dive it. That was not a good idea, was it? You can see it's high as ice cold. I've not even got the pedal all the way down to the ground. Now I do. So we go after the pit. I don't know the button though for pitting. I can't even see the frickin' circuit. Oh, look at the wet patches everywhere. So yeah, with the less arrow you feel it, you're definitely not getting as much speed through some of these corners. Oh my god, the puddles are catching us out. Plus 20 seconds. We're all closing quickly on our opponents though. Don't do a battle, don't do a battle, don't do a battle. I mean we haven't damaged our front wing so we shouldn't. Front spool up. Oh that's bumpy. Are they coming in? So we've got to follow them, as so we hit something. Those on the right tyres, please. I don't know, I don't know what my pit lane spin it. See them it is. I think it's, no, it's not pits. No, don't say Carney occupied. No, it's our teammate in front. Get out of the way, teammate! A disaster! Uh, so he's stacking it up. Oh, we've got to get in my teammate now. Let me in! <laughs> so we've got fuel, tyres and repair. This is pretty cool. We get to see what a pit stop was like in Formula 2. This might not be the Hoganine Ring from 2000 for us, unfortunately. Uh, this repair should be barely anything. Yep. Let's get out. Again, I don't have the spit pit limiter set, so. Here we go. In last. Oh my god, it's... It's getting dark as well, not just because of the clouds, it's actually dark sunlight. A minute seven slower. So this is going to be a good test for us to see how good the wet weather driving is. I don't expect to be doing this. No, maybe I was asking for it.
Hiding all these random slots. But yeah, I am liking this car. Oh god. Let's see where we're going. Don't worry. We haven't hit the bar yet. Don't take out the 50 sign. Oh, well, I can barely see with all the shine. Like, I've got bad eyesight normally, but now with all the shine. I can't tell where the track is. So yeah, it's taking some getting used to these cars. For their down force, because the 2019 cars are like rockets. And it's a similar change to what's happened in DTM. Like, they had, like, lots of error at the beginning of last decade. And then simplified things and, you know, copied F1 with the DRS system, with the entertainment tyres. And it did make the project so much more interesting than it was in, say, 2010. It's just a shame. Manufacturers have fallen by the wayside, like... We've lost, no, said Mercedes, lost Audi now, Aston Martin just last of the season. It's only BMW around after this season. Look at all the puddles. I'll try, to, try not to finish last. Let's try to remember where this right hander is. There it is. So you don't need to break for it. Wipers going into over there. Look at it, it's gonna fly off in a second. Oh, I can't believe we're just halfway through this race. Feels like we've just gone through 24 hours of Daytona. 24 hours of the Hockenheim ring. There's a race. For touring cars. Write, write that down, Gerhard Berger. We've got an idea. You know, to revive DTM. Oh, look at all the puddles there. Puddles everywhere. Look at it. Having to drive through it. Seems like everyone's getting away from us, unfortunately. But this is my first time in the wet. It doesn't seem like we're catching anyone. Cannot take that left hand at the moment.
Come on, car, stay in a straight line. I can't show off how good this track is for overtaking the old two wing cars. Show off how tricky it is to drive in the way. You can tell I've not got much weather, weather experience in anything. I think the most they do have is like WRC8. I haven't driven the way in ACC yet. I oh, know maybe the F1 games actually. I've had wet weather for a long time. We are getting quicker. I wonder if it's going to dry off near the end of this race or it's just going to be like this for the rest of the way. Got it properly slowed down. Right, and oh, look at the rain sweeping across the circuit. You can tell this from the maddest engine, can't you? How good this red looks. Shame about the driving. Well, we're getting it, it feels like. Still way off our opponent's time, so. I like this. We drove, what's it, 2000? Own dry conditions. A bit cloudy. Now we drive around it and look at it. Look at the mist! Can't even see the first corner. about extreme conditions I'm just happy to keep this in a straight line and keep going don't tell me it's going to snow soon so the tyres getting a bit colder driving on instinct and ease for this is aren't you? Oh now I can hit the apex but I can't even see it. Oh no, gone a bit wide. Go for the grass. Don't worry, we drive the old circuit, here we go. Got two more laps of this. It's a little bit wide. Well, keep it going. No.
Well, now I'm in mega concentrate mode trying to see where I'm going. I do love this. I just wish I actually had drove in the wet before and so I was actually decent at it. That was a terrible luck. first sector. Just about to see cars again. But we really are in the fog, aren't we? When the Stephen King novel it. Been a bit less, been a bit worse than Rubino would have done in these conditions. So like, he was really good in these conditions. So he showed in Pocket Time in 2000. Like he's a really good driver. Like his unselfishness at Ferrari maybe underpinned how good a driver he, he is. It was like when I got into F1 in the mid 90s, like he was the rising star. Especially with the huge void post Senna. Like you had Schumacher and Hill at the top. Jack Villeneuve came over. Kicked some faces in. For a few years and Hakkinen had his time but... You know it's all about... I uh, kind of like he was mentored by Senna when he came into F1 in 93. He was expected to be you know, in the next centre. And unfortunately never turned out that way, even though he was brilliant at Jordan, at Stewart as well, like that 99 season for Stewart was his coming out party. There's been you know, a bit more of a serious contender for victories and podiums. And then, of course, he took the deal at Ferrari and, as they said, the rest is history. Even though he had his best title winning chance in 2009 with Braun, he, he had shit luck at the beginning of the season. And Button just won, took advantage of it. Even though Bad Cutter was a better driver, maybe, for the second half of the season when the car was a bit more difficult. We grabbed victories at Valencia and Monza. Head of Button. Button took advantage of when the car was, you know, at its best. And that was the difference in the championship. Button knew how to manage that. He just had to manage that lead. Bad Cutter had to chase it in a car that wasn't developed in the second half of the season. Compared to its rivals, like you saw the rise of Red Bull, Ferrari, McLaren finally got on top of their curse heat cars. Same for BMW Sauber. Even Renault had that miracle pole in, was it Hungary, wasn't it, with Alonso? When the time went out and no one knew what was happening. <laughs> like, that was a crazy session. Of course, it's done on low full, but still. In. They don't go brick car, Alonso did something. And of course we had Crashgate as well, which put Renault in the mire, but... And there was most of the rumours of Alonso joining Ferrari all year, and then it finally came out the bag, you know, towards the end of the year. As we finished the race! We've done it! We're finishing these horrible conditions. Cool down that active, but 
Yeah, that 2009 season, looking back, I know it wasn't the best season racing-wise, but I had so many stories. Like, so many stories. And not just at the front, like, one of my favourite drivers, Sebastian Bourdais, got sacked from Toro Rosso by a text message in the middle of the season, and then came Alvis Rice, the longest driver ever at that moment. And he had a bit of baptism and fire, PK got sacked, Grosjean came in, did Grosjean things, and then went back to GP2 to win the title. And yeah, it was just crazy. Rosberg came of age, like continued to come of age, which led to him getting that Mercedes seat in 2010. Well, Nakajima alongside him didn't know, didn't really do much. And the guy had scored no points, and that ended his F1 career. And Toyota ended their career in F1 at the end of the season, along with BMW as well. Honda did it then in 2008, and I bet they were regretting it slightly, but then I'm not sure if Braun could have won the title with a Honda Power unit in the back. One of those things where maybe it was the best for Braun that Honda left, even though the car was designed for a Honda engine, like Mercedes engine was one of the best in the field back then. So, who knows? Back when Renault had a decent engine as well with Red Bull, and you saw what's coming in the next couple of years with them and Vettel being good with Weber winning races. You know, you'd never set that up a good 2010 as well, and yeah, 2010 was a great super stories as well, even though again the racing was not that great. But yeah, that is the 2020 stock cars around Algenheim Ring in wet weather. I definitely need to try and practice in these weathers because look at this. Even on this cool down lap, can't really see where I'm going. To try and enter a bit though. But like, it's really cool conditions though. Like the visuals are fantastic. This is why you go to the maddest engine for these visuals. Handing's alright as well, like the car is pretty good fun to drive. But the default setup I find it a bit difficult with the braking. Like I need to do something with this out about the braking, but apart from that. Getting on the power's alright, going around corners alright in this car, it's just fun. It's a more of a handful, more of a challenge, which you would expect from the 2019 cars. So let's check all that times compared to the leaders then, if we can. I swear you just have to select their name, don't we? At least that's what you did in the last game stock car. Oh, hang on. Oh, I thought you said we came in 14th. No, that's other bad code. We came last by 47 seconds, okay. It was close. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed some more Automobilista 2 and the stock cars. I'll definitely be showing off the stock cars a bit more, maybe in the dry next time, then putting all these variable weather in as two mile power winds brought that weather in, come on. So, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.